Brian, what do you have to say? Come on. Sarah Ping has no order. Monica, do you want to get the um the, the camera? You want? Oh, can I be the cameraman? All right, go ahead. Well, no, I, I, I'm, I'm actually shift. doing it for me, so it's so do not. All right, listen. All right, this is what we're talking about here. Right. It's recording. It's recording here. Yeah. All right. Take it off. Pinocchio Palin. Let's see now. People. I would vote for a person with close to zero intelligence. Close to. I mean, she has something. I mean, you know, I mean, she wants to use her body and her fading looks to, um, you know, quite frankly, um, get people to watch her. She wants to use a family. She wants to get off every bus, open every room, carrying a baby that's, what, seven months old, a year old, whatever. Can't walk, so the baby, she carries the baby like a prop. And then she hands the baby off and says, okay, hi, everybody. I know you're here to see me. I'm not hating on a woman, I just despise a woman who is trying to manipulate so many people. And she's working with the network, I mean Fox, and these people tell more lies. And the thing that kills me is that people don't know they're lying. The people who watch them trust them for some reason. And there's no referee that would sit out there and call out their lies every day. I mean, you'd actually have to have just another broadcast simultaneously with Fox just to show how many lies they tell. I mean, what's the purpose in that? I mean, it's aggravating. But you know what? I went down to a Tim Bishop um, town hall meeting and I interviewed a few people and I asked them questions. I said, you know, wh and what are your basis of your dislike and your hate for Obama? And I found that everything that they hated him for, 90% of the things they stated that they claimed that he did, Bush did. And um, I'm not saying they did the same thing. I'm saying like AIG, for example. They said Obama gave um, AIG $180 billion. Well, it was Bush. They gave him $150. Obama only gave him the $30 billion at the end. Um, things like that, that nature. All the money that went to the banks. That was all done six months prior to Obama getting in office. But yet they blame Obama for it. I mean, I don't get that. The economy was losing a hundred, no, six hundred to seven hundred thousand jobs a month the last five months that Bush was in office. Five fifty minimum to seven hundred a month. And who do they blame that on? They blamed it on Obama when he got in office. And then these Republicans said, well, we don't want to spend any money. Why should we spend money? Well, the reason why you spend money is to get the economy moving. If the economy is halted, it's like throwing a wrench into the cycle of the chain. And you throw that wrench in here, you have to get that wrench out. But the Republicans, you know, they want unemployment to be at 20-something percent. It's staggering. Nobody knew the economy was that bad. And um, I think the words, uh, when Bush left office, he left a little note for Obama. And if you... If you can ever go back to that moment when they left and came out of the White House at the same time and Bush was leaving, neither one were too happy. And um, I don't know the remains of that note, but I can pretty much guess that it basically said that things were much worse than they are. And then Republicans for the next three to four months kept saying, don't blame it on Bush. Don't talk about the economy. You're talking America down. It's anti-American to tell how bad the economy is. Please, let's not talk about it. It scares the hell out of me. I mean, what the hell is wrong with these people? You don't, you want to deny what's going on? And part of me understands a little bit of that because you don't want to talk the economy down. But CNBC did it all day long when Obama came in office. It's all your fault. Everything's your fault. The stock market, the Dow went down to as low as, what was it, 6,000 and change? 6,000 and change and trade there for a few days. Then Obama got on TV and said, you know what, I think it's a good time to buy stocks. It went up about 500 points. A couple of months later, a few, what, eight months later, ten, hit 10,000. We're talking about trillions of dollars. We're talking about an economy that was basically going off a cliff. And the Republicans have said, you know, this is the way to do it. And the only way to save it is give rich people a tax break. What are they talking about? How ignorant is this part? A tax break? A tax break comes years from now. 
if you get it next year, you, you don't go out and hide something like because you know you're going to get a tax perk. It doesn't work that way. It's just that ignorance that the Republicans have, that, that, that really kills me. Uh, it, from an economical standpoint, a tax break of 3 or 4% will have no bearing on the economy now. None whatsoever. So when, they, when you want to do something that's wise and get people jobs now, they fight you. The first thing on the stimulus bill Republicans wanted to throw out was education. And, and then when you look at the, the polls, 50% of the votes for Republican are people who didn't graduate high school or just graduated high school. I mean, they love you ignorant. I, mean, I don't understand that. And Sarah Palin, this woman, what, she switched colleges six, seven times? I think it's because she really never finished studying and really took those tests. Somebody should really check that out. I mean, because in my opinion, if you had to switch colleges six or seven times, I mean, I went to Buck, Rockport State University, but then I also went to Bucknell in the summertime. A college is a great thing. I mean, you learn things. Why is she switching colleges? I don't understand. I mean, a rabbit switches lovers, but what is her problem? I don't know. I don't, I don't get all of this Pinocchio Palin thing. She tells more lies than anybody in political office. Her and Bachman, I mean, their hate level, the, the way they incite hate, are some parallel. But that's, you know, I call it Pinocchio Palin because, I mean, I think that nose just grows every time she lies. And, you know, it's, it's an Emmett Till thing, too, with, with Sarah Palin. You know, if you just check up Emmett Till. Check out that, that, that type of parallel in her personality and the way she gets away with things. And I'm not feeling it. And I, quite frankly, you know, it's... Not 50 years ago, 60 years ago. It's 2010 now, guys. Wake up. That woman's a liar. She makes money. She's a capitalist to a point where the only person she thinks about is herself. I'm not feeling her. And quite frankly, I really think you guys should reevaluate your heroes. She can never be a hero of mine. She's too much of a damn liar. Enough on Pinocchio Palin. Thank you. He can't be offended by somebody else's other. Okay, thank you. Honest engine on that. Honest engine. Does the fact that Michael Steele recently made a really racially insane.